Am I live? I don't need them for now, is it? <clears throat> Hi. I've been uh, sent from the future to say that Josh isn't here yet. But I'm to start without him. So here we are. We're just going to, you know, eat up some minutes, kill some time, all of those other things that we do while we wait for the important humans to turn up. Oh, no, Blake's here now. Blake. G'day, Blake. He's important. Um, I suppose since I didn't do one on my stream earlier, I could kill some time by going through the chat. Hang on. Let me uh, go over here. Mute that guy. Eight people watching now. Tell your friends. Hurry up. Tell your friends to come back. Derek. River Life, I don't think River Life still here. Zen Ginger, how are you? Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you very much for your super chat. Aquamate will appreciate that. Oh, what a great time to get the hiccups. Um, who else? Cody Sun. Cody Sun. And Cody Sun in the house. Manini Scapes, don't know if you're still here, but g'day and thanks for popping along. Don't be confused, you are actually on Aquamate's channel, but I am indeed Dr. Black 66. Or, you know, Blacky will do. Rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. Alien World Aquatics. Oh no, he's off making corn dog and waffles. Oh, when was the last time I had a corn dog? They, they call them corn jacks down here. But they're still just as good. Sand Creek Aquatics, how are you, Creaky? And why are you still up? Oh, there we go, because sleep is so hard to find. Blake's Aquatics, already said hi to you. Parker's Reef. Dedicated table. That's a lot we like to hear. Parker's Reef. Uh, Fishy Fun 57 and GRB Aquatics. How the heck are you? That's fantastic to hear, Samuel. Um, I am just holding down the fort until Aquamate uh, gets his stuff together. He will be here shortly. I uh, don't know if you are hanging out long enough to say hi to him as well, but awesome to know. Dedicated table for the fish tubers. Um, is the expo site a uh, licensed venue? Asking for a friend. <coughs> oh. Oh, that one had bones in it. G'day, Dave. Aquarium Thoughts, Dave. Cichlids Aquarium Keeper, South Australian fella. How are you, boys? Welcome aboard. That's no, good to hear, Parker. It is not right, okay? I will... I mean, my friend will be very, very on his best behaviour then. We, li we like a bit of comedy here on the Aquamate channel. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I did. I actually got tagged in that um, thing for the social event on the Saturday night. It's at an Irish pub, is it? I'm a little bit torn with that one because I'm taking my lady down to Melbourne with me and it's our first kind of proper 
weekend away with each other fancy hotel near the expo site hotel is almost dead in between the expo site and where that pub is but so you're going to ditch know. us for someone you spend every day with is that what's going on what <laughs> sorry I'll, i heard you come in with someone you spend every day with we didn't I said, get so you're going to ditch us for someone you spend every day with i don't spend every day with her but probably <laughs> yes probably yes that will be what might happen that's fair enough <laughs> yeah as i was saying before i was interrupted by acclimate um worst case scenario either for me or for you guys is that we do actually go down to the irish pub for a couple of drinks and um and then and then go back to the hotel because we did google it up and found out that the rooftop swimming pool closes at 10 p.m so you know that gives us time after the expo to have a bit of a swim in the pool in the afternoon go change go to the pub have a couple of guinnesses or wild turkeys whatever um and go back to the hotel well before 10 o'clock and get another hour of swimming in and potentially some nighttime rooftop footage of that city that you call melbourne that sounds pretty cool and hello everyone saying hello thank you for stopping in zen ginger thank you for the super sticker appreciate it <laughs> uh and yeah sorry it took me so long i had to go up and pick up harry and then um we need to get dog food you should so, be careful how you say that because harry is a euphemism you know a euphemism for <laughs> okay the stream went dark very quickly <laughs> Nathan, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, G'day, Nathan Fishboy. So how did you stream yesterday? How'd the auction go? I missed a lot of it because I was still working, unfortunately. Oh, look, the auction went quite well. Um, I think one thing that we did find is that potentially because, um, like, it took us ages to sell the first four items and then um and then we sort of slowed down a bit and then we had to rush the last little bit so potentially by rushing we may not have got um may not have benefited best from what we could have but you know we still got well, some money. we got some money. Money. oh scunge princess is in the chat oh, scunge. hey scungy how are you um, sorry, I had to skip out so quickly earlier. I'm sure everyone will forgive you if you just do a third auction. <laughs> well. If you're going to have things left over, it's a good idea. Um, it went horrible. Ask my bank account. <laughs> Love it. Well, I just wanted to... Actually, what I'm going to need to do... Have a chat for a second. I'm going to need to put my mobile on because I want to show you guys this mess. I am coming home to packages and boxes at the front door in the mailbox every day from all over the country uh i've been speaking to a few companies i know blake's been speaking to someone as well so i wanted to give you guys an idea uh that are going to attend the event uh what we're going to try and offer people and also give you guys an idea overseas what we're doing hopefully gets you guys excited and also jealous <laughs> Uh, and also that we are going to try and be making supporting all the channels worldwide by some of the things that we're doing. So I'm going to get this little thing working without blowing up the speakers, which I'm really bad at. So that'll take me a minute or two. And uh, I'll show you what I've got so far, but I don't even think we're halfway with all the cool stuff. So I'll jump down and then I'll try and come back on on this. Ah. Oh. So glad I was paying attention then. Was he like asking me to like pay attention or something or take over or whatnot? Just buy me two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. I consider the two minutes bought. Um, how will I do this? Um, oh, that's a good idea, Scotty. Um, nothing wrong with eating chilies. We've all been there. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, Scunge Princess. I only just saw your message. I will uh, attend to that potentially after this two minutes of buying is over, maybe. Um, excellent question, Nathan Fishboy. In the tank behind me, I have a breeding pair of green terrors or Andino Acara Rivulatus, if you will. Also a Jaguar Cichlid or a Parachromus Managuens, if you prefer, and a Red Terra Cichlid or a Mesoheros Feste, if you prefer, and a um, 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 Sailfin Plecostomus or a Terra Goplithicus. Which one is it? I can't remember. Anyway, um, there's a Sailfin Plecostomus in there as well. Um, most recent batch of babies, GRB, now that you've asked, have all been disappeared. They've all been eaten or killed, which was unfortunate because they were the ones that I were going to leave in there for two to four weeks before I move them into the grow-out tank. Um, but there's still a good solid three three in the grow out tank that are you know half an inch long um they're uh they're doing really well down there but the weather recently like it's been struggling to get over i mean today was pretty warm but for the most part it's like mid 20s to uh high 20s i imagine uh i might need to start popping heaters in soon if this keeps up very bizarre uh one behind me i don't know if you can see here there's just an external canister filter and a couple of sponge filters in the tank and um i do regular water changes actually that tank had a oh probably the way i do i do my water changes with a, a siphon sucking the water out as well as new water feeding in so i um I just basically let it run for, you know, sometimes a ciggy, a ciggy and a scratch of my head and a, a random time frame. I don't really count it out or anything, but I estimate that this guy behind me got a 50% water change yesterday um, and, yeah, came up looking awfully shiny and nice last night. Obviously, with the time of day it is here, very difficult to uh, actually see into the tank but, you know, give it 30 minutes and the sun will be low enough that this light will be brighter than the daylight. So, um, no, sailfin is, n is not the same as a common pleco. They do get to the same sizes, but your sailfin, sail flin, flin, as I call him, I don't call him flin, I call him gibbo, um, they have more rays on their dorsal fin and their tail fin, so they have more extravagant fins than your common plecos. Uh, so, yeah, that's your main difference. And, and patterning as well. They're um, uh, more of a marbly kind of patterning, but there is a few different patterns on the sail fin plecostomus available in the market. Um uh, yeah, so I think my one is classified as a marbled sail fin because of his pattern, but um, he's just gibbo to me. He's just gibbo. Hello, Cheryl Hello, Evans. Cheryl. How are you? Jay's better room. How are you going, brother? Who else came in? Ugly Man's Reefing. Oh, I might have to check out Ugly Man's Reefing to see if he's honestly ugly or if he's just got low self-esteem. Time to tell. All right, so. Can you see me? Yes, loud and Could clear. Me? <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, I mean, it's awesome that we are going to be doing a live stream. And thanks, Sam, if you're still here, for uh, helping us out and setting up a, a table. So what we've done is we've gone and got a whole bunch of environmentally friendly bags. Uh, so we've got 50 bags that we're turning into show bags. And I just want to show you so far what we've collected. So everyone will get some Rumble business cards, which I've just received today, and some Rumble stickers. 
um, in conjunction with Rumble and Aquamote, there is a contest for our Australian viewers. Uh, so everyone will get a flyer. Uh, basically, if they're subscribed to the channel and they comment a certain hashtag on either channel, you can choose which T-shirt you like or you can have a shot at winning both. Uh, there's all the instructions there. So that's going to be a lot of fun too. I've got some more stickers, business cards. I'm going to hang these up behind us, and I think Dr. Black's going to do a similar thing. So we're going to have uh, um, the available advertising, <laughs> um, being able to buy some T-shirts and stuff there as well. Uh, we've got from all the way from South Australia, Sir Prawn a lot has sent over some cards as well. We've got local businesses like Fish Fanatics, who's working on a couple things at the moment, but I've got some of their cards there to uh, help all the people to pick up their their um <clears throat> sorry show bag sorry dogs are barking more different stickers get rid of those aquamate ones because we have a bunch of perth cichlid stickers as well for anyone that picks up or is lucky enough to get one of the show bags um what else have we got we've got this guy he's going to be there which will be pretty exciting <laughs> and He's going to have some business cards to put in as well, as well as Blake's Aquatics, uh, who has who? some stickers. <laughs> Blake's Aquatics has some stickers, business cards, and also a really exciting deal that's coming out too. So I won't announce that yet, uh, but we're going to end up having a fair bit of value in here. Yes, you might win something. You're going to get some free stickers, get some contacts with some of the best Aussie YouTubers in best Aussie YouTubers in the country, but some of the best Aussie YouTubers. And what I was going to do, I don't. I can put this down and I'll come back to the normal screen so that it's less flimsy. Let's come back here. Uh, so what we were thinking of doing is Lockie from Sir Pronalot has gone through... Fish Room Fever's website, and he has converted all of the live stream timetable into Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is Dr. Black, Thirsty, and me, uh, and then the uh, guys on the other side of, oh, Keeping Fish Simple, hello, how are you? It's the same time for you. And basically, we're going to put out a little card that's going to have the live stream schedule from Monday to Sunday of all the channels, including the American channels, including how many European channels is on there the stream? Um, and any New Zealanders as well, <laughs> Canadian channels. Um, so it's going to be a worldwide thing because we're involved in that. The community has given that heaps to us. So hopefully um, it will expose a lot of um, young Aussies, older Aussies that love their fish to jump on and learn a little bit more from so many great channels and great people on the uh on the interwebs and that is actually going to be sponsored by parker's reef who is here so we're going to have an advertisement down there sam parker has released um apologies sam i don't have the the link if you want to message it to me i can put it up uh has released a line of saltwater t-shirts so anyone who shows or actually has this this advertisement can get five dollars off any purchase at his website too so there's going to be a load of value that we've managed to be able to pull together um for relatively free for everybody so i'm super excited and really wanted to share this with you because i just keep seeing it i'm like i know you guys would be interested in this stuff so let's share it out and how many hours now until i'm picking dr black up from the airport uh, 20, uh, 31 and a half ish roughly <laughs> which will be exciting and we have even been invited to go to the pre-setup so we're going to get some uh some extra footage uh which will be really exciting to be able to um get in there see what's going on um probably i'll probably try and uh steal some of parker's reef's time before the event starts maybe sam uh but what we'll mainly do is we'll set up make sure that the wi-fi there is gonna be friendly with us so that we know what we're doing 11 o'clock saturday morning we can sit down hit the live button and also just try and uh 
schmooze some of the people around there so we can bring you guys some really good guests, some really good, uh, you know, educational information as well as some entertainment uh, for the two hours on Saturday, which I can't wait Ooh. for. Electricity as well. Are we going to need like extra power boards and stuff to run our rigs? That's probably something we should look into. That's a good point too. We'll suss that out. I will have um, what will I have? I'm I've got like a big portable phone charger, which won't do a laptop any good, but we can sort of use that when we um when we get there. Hell's yeah, behind the scenes. That's right, Parker. Because I'd love to do some uh, a really good video afterwards. Spend a bit of time editing and put together the setup, the event, what's what's happened, the aftermath. <laughs> uh, and Perth Cichlids, there you are, Jason. So what we're going to be doing to link all of these things together as well is start using a hashtag, hashtag OzFishTubers. It's going to be all over the show bag. Um, and any any Aussie fish tubers, Sam, um, keeping fish simple, if you guys want to you know, put hashtag OzFishTuber, oh, OzFishTubers, on any of your videos. Hopefully, it will sort of get that out there that if anyone searches for that, then it'll sort of bring all of our channels and a lot of the talent from around the country to the fore just by jumping in to YouTube. Hello, oh, Pam. And, hey, Pam. How are you? One, one thing that Zen Ginger came up with and Sir Prawn a lot told us how to do, you'll notice a few of the guys are going to have QR codes on their business cards. Um, I printed mine before that happened, so I'm going to try and get some for the back. But it, how cool is it? People can pick up Sir Pronalot's card, put their phone up, and bang, they're on his channel already. So that's hey, I, I printed them on the back of my T-shirts. So That's um, right. You know, people can just scan my back, and they'll go straight to my YouTube page. Did you, guys, did you just tell people that you have T-shirts? No. Is that an exclusive? <laughs> I have two, two shirts, unless you buy them off Teespring. I love it. I saw Dr. Black's T-shirt the other day and I was thinking literally you could walk up behind Dr. Black with your phone and go straight to his YouTube channel uh, without even bothering him. <laughs> you'd just be bang. You'd be on Dr. Black's YouTube channel because he's got I the wouldn't, QR code. I wouldn't even know because my eyes are on the front of my body and my <laughs> QR code is on the back of my body. I wouldn't even see you do it unless your I phone know. goes cock or something like that. <laughs> Good idea. How are you? And yes, Nathan, do the um. If you put out videos, put the hashtag on it, dude. You're an Oz fish tuber. It's a must. Do it. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just it's just a good little way. I know that there's a hashtag fish fam, and that's a worldwide thing, and it's fantastic. And uh, it's just something that might encourage people to go. You know, I want to be part of something, and they just put it in there. We've found how many new channels have we found in the last week, and they're going to be there. Um, we're going to meet them. First hand, and it's weird to think that people have been watching us for a little bit, and um, all of a sudden they're gonna, we're gonna be standing next to them, um, and that they've started doing their own YouTube channels, which is pretty exciting. Give Blackie's welcome man a scratch while you're scanning the back of his shirt. <laughs> Indeed, I welcome that idea, Jace. I'm sure it was Jace that said that because he's the only one that mentions my welcome mat. Uh, Sam, if you're still here, did, I'm, I did watch the uh, interview on Blake's channel, which was really awesome. Um, are we going to be able to buy an Underwater Pet Expo T-shirt at the event? I know you're going to have your uh, some of your T-shirts there from the uh, your Saltwater T-shirts, but is it going to be an Underwater Pet Expo shirt? Because I really want to get one of those. Keeping um, fish simple. Hello. Welcome aboard. Cooker. Cooker's here as well. Hello, Cooker. There's Cooker a in the house. Cooker is a good chance to actually join us now. Should I get a QR code tattoo? Yeah, <laughs> you should. And then, you know, <laughs> if you're going to get a tattoo, it might as well be something meaningful like a QR code. <laughs> QR codes for life hashtag. I know. Um, I can't and believe before I forget, um, Sam did say that uh, power boards will be required. Do you have spare power boards down there with you, or shall I have? Yeah, to look, bring my them? fish might need heaters or filtration for the day, so I'll bring so this. That's, <laughs> that's basically you saying that I should bring a power board with me. Yeah. Uh, if you if you do have one, I reckon I've got one or two spare. Probably. Oh. 
I'll bring one just in case. Yeah, bring All one right. just in case because uh, I can probably find one, but something will maybe die if I do. <laughs> hey, Nathan Fishboy, you can even go back uh, in previous videos and just edit them and add that hashtag into your uh, descriptions on your videos and they'll all come up. Because once we start promoting this hashtag, people will start searching this hashtag. If you want your videos to get found on searches. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, well, I'll be putting the hashtag after this video is up for anyone so that it's sort of, especially with this event, any videos revolving around the event. Actually, Sam, do you have a hashtag for the Underwater Pet Expo that you want us to sort of use um, when we are doing our, you know, long-winded editing videos and also just quickly i want to say a special thank you to uh jason per cichlids for asking well not asking just making me cut out 48 <laughs> little <laughs> stickers to put in all these things <laughs> good hey chevy how are you mate you um, know i literally though i came home with this as i received that box so i'm like all right uh, it's not going to be too bad at least i can cut them because i do have to do some of my own uh, and i'm going to have to cut out some stickers to put on these show bags to uh let everybody know oh you got one too yeah i looked at those they're a lot bigger and more expensive <laughs> they're so much quicker and they make a cool noise <laughs> they do. Hashtag underwater pet expo, but honestly, guys, I prefer hashtag Ozfish tubers. That's cool. Well, maybe it's just something that uh, we'll know afterwards if we want to check out any of the videos on YouTube that that's probably a good way to search for it. I guess the thing is that um, hashtag underwater pet expo works at a certain time of year, but hashtag Ozfish tubers works year round. It's perpetual. That is true. That is correct. Um, so let's just go with both when the expo's on. Yeah. Who am I waiting for? I think uh, I think Jason sent me some more stuff that I haven't received yet, so we've still got two more days for that. Once you get here, um, we'll obviously have some stuff to add to the kitty. Uh, Fish Fanatics in Lilydale, my local aquarium, working on a really cool video with them at the moment and... I sort of got halfway through it last night. I'm getting a bit excited. It's almost finished. Uh, they're going to work out. Work, they're going to work on something um, that will be of great value to add to the show bag, especially because it's free. Uh, and they'll drop that around tomorrow, so I can add that. But I'm thinking what about, that. Um, what about other other Jason Jason Cichlids? I haven't heard from him for a little while. Would have been uh, good to be able to promote his channel a bit as well. Yeah, well, I haven't heard from him for a little bit. Mm. His fish I think what got flooded. You know what I sort of think is, um, to be honest, with the I heard about this underwater pet expo, I sort of had a bit of a dream that how cool it would be to get involved and try and showcase something. And it wasn't until what our last stream that we mentioned it would be cool. We'll try and do something. We'll do you know we'll stream something from somewhere. And then when Sam's like, yeah, we'll set you up. It's sort of like the dream's coming true and maybe um, maybe next year it'll get a few other people to, to try and send some stuff over early or hopefully join us. But, you know, the ones that can't join us, it's really good for them to send over all their stuff. I'm loving these. I'm going to end up with so many business cards that aren't mine, <laughs> which no, I'll happily send them back to you. Away. We're going to give these them off. all away. I can, we'll give them all away. There's 250, so... We'll probably have a little set of cards and stickers at the front. We, I've noticed I'm a bit short on rumble stickers, so we're going to have to figure that out. Yeah, he's, a tight, he's a bit tight, though. He's a bit tight. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually sending me money for um for making up these little flies. So thank you, Rumble. I think it's a good un YouTube collaboration. <laughs> have us on stage, get. No, nah, you. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> um, now, look, I'm really excited. I'm pumped. I'm thinking a lot about it at the moment. I can't wait to pick up Dr. Black, swing by. We'll see what it's all about. Blake's probably going to meet us there, I think. Um, and then probably have to come back here and um, probably sort these stickers together because. I'll get stuff off Blake and I'll get stuff off you. So it doesn't make sense to do them all now and then 
at it later. So you ready for that when you get here? Welcome yeah. to Melbourne. Now start sorting stickers. Yeah. Get to work. <laughs> we'll get through it. No, um, I spoke to Max S a little bit earlier too. He's only going to be able to join us on the Sunday, unfortunately. Yeah, he did. He did send me an email saying something about that, and I might not be able to join you on a Sunday. So, um, I'm gonna have to. I've got got a bucks party. We've got some family luncheons. We've got a whole bunch of things going on. So, I'm kind of. I'm gonna let the uh, the expo dictate everything, but. If there hits a point where I need to leave, then um, I will. But now that no one mentioned anything about going to an Irish pub afterwards, that's kind of not fair. I was like, I would have already said no to everybody else already if I knew that was happening. <laughs> well, um, well I, I mentioned the fact to Max that uh, myself and Scungy would potentially like to uh, only maybe spend a couple of hours at the expo on Sunday and then go to Melbourne Aquarium. And Max uh, may have referred to the Melbourne Aquarium as to being a potentially expensive day trip. Mm -hmm. It will be expensive for sure. It's, um, I mean, it's it's good because you're down here. There's a, those opportunities. So I'm trying to think. Like, I did. I did see if um if. I'd asked Max if he would pass as a uh, 12 year old if he had a shave and if potentially we might be able to find another uh, human who might look 12 or under so we might be able to get a family pass instead of two adults. <laughs> and Max was quite convinced that if he did shave that he might look less than 12. But um, as to the fourth, I'm a, I'm, you know, generally a family pass is two adults, two children. I have um, met Max. He's pretty wait. tall, although everyone's pretty tall to me. So well, he said the same thing. I'm a pretty tall twelve year old and I just said, you know, just keep keep the lingo simple, keep it, you know, teenage lingo. Don't don't rattle off any scientific names while you're standing in line and we should be all right. But uh yeah, obviously the difficult part will be finding I mean, kidnapping a fourth <laughs> person to make those tickets a little bit cheaper. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think on the Friday, we're going to be pushed for time potentially. Uh, I don't know, but everything could be relatively like quicker than I'm expecting. So if that happens, I will try and swing by somewhere um, on the way home as well on the Friday. We can check something, you know, check out one of the local fish stores here as well. Um, there is a big art gallery near me that... Uh, I've never been to, so I don't know if it's like an expensive thing or if it's even open during the week. Um, but I was thinking about Scungy with that one, but it's sort of going <laughs> to. I'm thinking yeah, about I too think many I, things for one weekend. I think the uh, the idea of um, making a smooth schedule is uh, eliminating things from the itinerary, not adding things to the itinerary. <laughs> Potentially. <sighs> Hello, Honora. How are you? Speaking of adding things. Hey, how how's it going? Just <laughs> here to crash great. the party. The Blake, king of green you? screen himself. The magical green screen operator. How are we? Uh, good, Blake. Yeah, how are you? Well. Actually, Blake, yes. you're here. I don't know what we can and can't say. Is there anything you can share with us about the uh, what we're trying to pull together with these show bags for all the lovely people at the Underwater Pet Expo? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'll fill you in on my little thing that I've organized today. So uh, I've partnered up with aquariumsparparts.com.au and we're going to have two massive prize packs from BioPro to give away. They're worth um, 100 bucks each, a bit over 100 bucks each. And uh, it'll be one of these ones where you have to, you know, subscribe to me, like them on Facebook and comment, um, hashtag Ask Blake, which is the tab where I answer people's questions in a video once a week. So, um, yeah, if you want a hundred bucks worth of bio pro stuff, there's going to be two packs and yeah, we'll have little flyers and stuff on the day and nice. uh, I'll probably spruik it, um, in my stream tomorrow and stuff, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm keen to see if people take that up. No, it's absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm excited. I'm just excited that a couple of companies are, are getting on board as well. I mean, it, like technically it's sort of like it's a free marketing ploy for them, but if they can put something out there that's really um, 
a value to anyone that scores one of these show bags. Um, hopefully, it will be successful. And next year, we can come with 100 or 200 or 300 instead of 50. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and like trying not to spruik myself too much. I don't know how much detail, sorry about this fly, how much detail we're going to go mm. into about the expo. But um, yeah, I sat down with Sam for an hour or so. Um, if you want to hear about what, what there is to offer, it sounds absolutely massive. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, make sure you read the chat there, Blake. Sam Parker has left a message directed at you. Yeah, perfect. Um, I'll shoot it through just shortly. Uh, yes, but um, so even this week I did one store tour and I've been to two other stores this week and they've all um, unprompted sort of asked if I was going. So sounds like it's going to be a big deal and I'm, yeah, excited to see that even not in a professional sense, just like employees from a lot of the stores are going to band together and, and head out for a bit of a day trip on a Saturday, stuff like that. Yeah, it's, I know. It's pretty cool. That's, there's a lot, there's a big buzz around it now. Um, Sam, if I will, um, if I can get the information for uh, Fish Fanatics 2, I'll, uh, I'll try and send you something for the, uh, the Facebook page as well. Yeah, um, and uh, it would be rude for me not to sort of say, g'day, Sand, Candy, uh, fish fun and gala. How you going? <laughs> <laughs> Just have to acknowledge the chat, you know. You know what it's like when you're uh, I'm try trying to get Harry from after school care, and yeah. uh, and Dr. Black's just messaging me, going, You just got to go live now, you got to go live now. Everyone's going yeah. to bed over there, and I'm like, I can't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, well, just get back. I'm and so I went live, and then I had to walk away for a little bit, and then I came back, and I'm like, oh, I can't catch up on that chat. <laughs> well, he um he put it in the hangouts that you that this was going live, and I was like, oh, I'm in the car. Like, can't we push it back half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Max S, hello Max, how are you? Uh, we were just talking about burning. Sunday, um, Sunday's activities, but um, yeah, I I wouldn't come. Oh. Doctor Black wants to dress you up and make you look like a twelve year old. Sounds very mm. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I actually, I don't know if you thought about it, Blake, but I grabbed some, um, I don't know, you've been here since the start. So I grabbed some business cards from my LFS that I'm going to just chuck in there as well and added to what they're, um, they're going to put forth. Uh, yeah, sweet. It's just something that's more relevant. You know, it could be someone could grab the business card and live right next to that shop. Someone can grab a, sorry, show bag. Someone could be over your way or whatever. Cause you just never know. Yeah, well, um, I guess, I guess, uh, yeah, without taking over too much, I guess the benefit of um, the situation that I've worked out is it's an online company, AquariumSquareParts.com.au, so um, yep. anyone can go there. And, yeah, like, even if even if you're just going there to ask me a question, I, I love seeing people's questions come in and it you know, gives me content for a video that week. So um, You've just yeah. given me another idea, actually. But don't troll me too much if you can. <laughs> I haven't actually got too many troll questions yet. Oh, I now didn't even think that. about that. How much fun would that be putting in questions? <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell blaze? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jesse, I just got back from a fish store and I've got four Luminatus pseudomogules there. So I figured uh, you'd be interested in that one, being your logo fish and all. Uh, um. I'll go grab Sorry. my stickers and business cards and um, I just bolted in the door so you can see I'm all in the dark and that I'll get my... Yeah, it'd be awesome. Show us what they are. I was just thinking of um, someone else that might be a bit interested in uh, doing something. <clears throat> oh. Chewy, you were asking before, is anybody speaking? And Sam said there's plenty of people. There is. So there's this, this list on Facebook, which might come up very well there, but you can sort of see there are there's a lot of stuff scheduled. Um, David Lowe, who is actually from Nanotanks Australia, who I've actually had the pleasure of having a chat with on this channel. Um, so go check that out on Aquamate Experience, episode number two. <laughs> 
Uh, Nicholas, oh, here we go. I'm going to not be able to pronounce the names properly. Uh, Nicholas, have a go at least. Tileakos. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Greek right. lad, is he? He's going to be talking about how fish can be fun from day one, uh, how to feed my fish correctly, Shannon Lowen, uh, keeping my fish alive, Brett DePoister, uh, setting up a marine tank with David May, Australian coral farming with Daniel Kimberley, aquarium keeping for kids, Paul Talbot, that's the one that you said you knew, know Chewy. Uh, we have Q&A with Axel Tuns, uh, how to create an underwater garden with Adrian Weinberg, uh, designing an underwater garden with uh, Taka Takayuki Fukada, uh, more of Adrian, more of David, which is good, Andy Tam, what lights do I need for my underwater garden, how to care for corals in the home aquarium, this one's going to be fun, uh, so where, and <laughs> it's just me not being a cultured person knowing how to pronounce things, so Dr. Black will read these out on the day, uh, <laughs> so we're in Lukaiskowitsk. I actually reckon I might have done all right then. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, my first fish tank was Drew Poister. And yeah, I said Brett De Poister. So basically all day, uh, Takayuki Fukada and Adrian Weinberg work with their aquascaping craft over the weekend as they both create their own masterpiece on the aquarium industry stand. Uh they will also be on hand throughout both days at the Aquarium Industries workshop table where you will be able to create your own masterpiece while getting tips from the world's best. So mm. and, pretty um, much. Takayuki, a lot of people think uh, it's a lot of people's opinion that he's the best aquascaper in the world. So uh, it's a massive get. Uh, there is a chance that I will probably hound him at some stage and try and have a chat. <laughs> but he will be a busy man. Everyone's going to be very busy there. We're going to try and... I know all three of us have all said this to each other. We'd like to get around and have a chat with some people and, and bring some exclusive content to you on each of our channels. Um, and I thank you guys for that we can do this stream on the Aquamate channel, but that's not going to limit, if we've got Wi-Fi there, it's not going to limit Dr. Black or Blake going live at any stage on their channel at any time on Saturday or Sunday. Um, so these things could happen. So mm. be ready. <laughs> I know, um, I know Takayuki is, like, renowned for his uh, aquascaping and stuff, but, like, I'm getting a feeling that if I challenge the guy to a wrestle or something, that might make <laughs> for excellent footage. So long as it's not a crocodile wrestle. All right, see. Well, <laughs> um, there's many types of wrestling. So and here are my... To Bodgy and William Jansen. Welcome aboard, fellas. Hey, Bodgy. Sorry I couldn't get up with you guys the other day, but well done for your first stream. All right. So here are my uh, exclusive expo stickers. Hang on, hang on. We've got a solo layout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's different to the one that I've got, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I love to change things up, you know. And then the associated card. Oh, it's just Look. a fish. Oh, with, we went the high gloss. With the links. That's very nice. Oh, you, you spelt Blake wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'll change my name by Deepole if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> they look really good. So you went with the, um, the glossy rounded cut. Yeah, why not, hey? Just live a little. <laughs> I got um I received rumbles today. He yeah, went nice. Matt rounded cut. They G'day look very good. Too. And he's done the QR code too. Very wise move. And then he's got his information on the back. Um oh, yeah. costs three times as much to do it that way. Which um it's I'm sort of I wish that I did do it, but I'm spending too much money on all this other stuff. So I just went with that and then nothing. So I'm gonna oh, stick yeah. QR codes on the back of mine. Yeah, nice. At least it doesn't have like the company's logo and stuff on the back. It's, yeah, I'd that's take true. A blank one. And just so, in case any of you guys are thinking, "Hey, I want to do something like that," um, we just did you use Vista Print for that as well? Yeah, yeah, Vista Print's fantastic for not spending a fortune trying to um, to get things like business cards, stickers, uh, t-shirts, um, 
and off. Now the flyer, I went, I did it office works the flyer because I just didn't want to wait. Hmm. Oh, and yeah, cool. buddy, I'll make sure to give you three stickers so you can do that. <laughs> oh, I'll four give you, stickers. I'm I'll give you. Counting. I'll give you five stickers, Bodgy. Well, he's gonna. Ha I hope he has a big forehead because part of that was sticking one on his forehead. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that he's talking about getting his own stickers sorted, not worrying about your guys' stickers. You selfish pricks, Jesus! He's, he said, "Blake, I'm sticking that on my shirt, forehead, fish tank, and laptop." There you go. So we're gonna put Doctor Black in the sin bin for that one. No. <laughs> no, no, but I'm I am still, still a selfish. Even though he did say that, I still think I'm absolutely right in Bodgy is regretting not getting his own stickers organised. Hmm. It's not too late. If you go down to Snap Printing, your local Snap Printing, um, you can – I got this sorted out in like two or three hours today. I – stupidly. Uh, I just thought I'd run out, so I ordered some more because I didn't want to run out. And then I found out that I have a whole bunch over here anyway. But I was, it blew me away. Can you see the color of those lacquer bands or rubber bands? Apparently, I stand it. corrected. I stand corrected. I will go into the sin bin. <laughs> no, that's cool. Can you see a color of those rubber bands? Pink and blue, like 1980s or all it, over again. It matches the, um, matches the logo. And I and said, did you guys just put them on all my stuff because it matches? And they're like, no, we put them on everything. I'm like, ooh, must be fate. Well, <laughs> I do have to say that your uh, collab with Rumble, that flyer looks amazing. The, the colors all together, I'm blown away. I think it looks awesome. I should be a graphic designer, shouldn't I? It's, it's almost deliberate. You've both got the blue, you know, you've both got a bit of a high-vis color associated with that. I think it's cool as. I That's why I tried my... Stick to my previous comment. I'm having flashbacks to 1986. <laughs> Those colours. I know, and I, I know it's cool. We got that. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully, um, hopefully, it draws some people to Rumble. Rumble's on the path to a thousand subscribers, and I know he's definitely going to get a thousand subscribers. It's just a matter of when. Um, I know he can't make it, and he's really bummed. He's been thinking about dropping an absolute bomb just to get over for one day. Um, but I think maybe his wife has talked some sense into him. <laughs> uh, but it's really good that he can offer something. He can still have a presence. We've got the stickers. I've just realized, uh, Brendan, if you're watching in the um, the replay, I've got 38 of these. No, actually, sorry, 37 because I'm keeping one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Collector's editions. So I don't know. We're going to have to figure out a little bit of something. Maybe if one of you guys have some something extra that we can chuck in a couple of um, couple of bags, just just put two up. Blake's Aquatics ones in. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he's got enough business cards, so you'll get in every bag, and he's going to be on the flyer in every bag. So yeah. What do you mean in the eighties, Jesse? Those things are still cool now. Let me show you. No. no. <laughs> All my T-shirts are half. What are you talking about? Yeah, I thought it was good that you shaved Dr. Black 66 into your uh, snail trail. <laughs> oh, there, there may be more shaving happening yet before the expo. Oh, no. Spoiler <laughs> alerts. Just have to see how, um, how artistic Scungy's feeling tomorrow. Oh, watch out. Mm. <laughs> I just have to make a side note that my son's sitting down here, so I will uh, <laughs> we'll go away from the uh... <gasps> back to the PG rated program. <laughs> Harry's learnt all his best video tricks from his dad. <laughs> no, I learnt them from him. <laughs> He's watching Preston plays and PewDiePie, and I'm like, oh, that's how you do it. FGTV. <laughs> yeah, essentially the way I figure it is that all of this stuff on top of my head is getting a little bit long. I'm starting to look like a hippie, so I might need a design carved into it that might be expo specific. Shave those sideburns, Daryl Strawberry. Isn't that off uh, Simpsons? Simpsons. It wasn't Strawberry, though. It was somebody else, but you get the idea. 
Yeah, but now that's going to stitch me up until I remember which one it was. <laughs> okay. Stra Strawberry was a uh, dark skinned man, and the guy with the yeah. side bounce was. Um, was it? No, it wasn't Dan Mattingly. Don Mattingly. Oh, um, Mattingly, it was. Shave those sideburns, Mattingly. Strawberry got the massive head. Yeah. <laughs> Memory for the win. And I, here that was I thinking that it didn't work very well nowadays. Yeah, just just go with your first idea, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, um, do you reckon you'll... Uh, You'll be purchasing stuff or just like me going around scooping up all the freebies? Um, definitely freebies are more interesting to me than emptying my bank balance. But there is... Um, oh, GRB, can I just say fuck off to that idea? Excuse my French if uh, Harry's still <laughs> listening. But, you know, you know, so there's been a certain fellow who's already done that at a aqua convention. I'm not a copier. I'll do my own thing, thanks, GRB. I hope you're just being funny, sir. And uh, excuse my French for anyone who's um, offended by um, foul language, but that warranted foul language. See you, Sam. Can't wait to see you there and hope it's a big success. All right, Sam. Take care, man. I'm sorry you had to hear me swear like that. <laughs> Look at that. An F-bomb gets dropped and he, he runs away, so nobody yeah. do that on the weekend. <laughs> testing the limits you gotta, you gotta find where find where the uh the balance lies you know it'll be interesting to see no i'm not doing any dyes or anything you realize dye costs money but i've got a pair of clippers so you know we'll just go with a carving a lot of people think that you might get aquamate shaved into your head <laughs> um i'm i'm gonna say i won't be doing words because, <laughs> because like, I'm I'm in Melbourne for four days, let's say, and um, out of those four days, let's say I might spend, uh, you know, I'm, I'll be generous and say twelve or thirteen hours at the expo. That's a hell of a lot of hours that I won't be at the expo with some <laughs> weird shit carved into my head. Um, if I'm gonna be rolling around the general public i want it to be somewhat acceptable i'm kind of regretting now that i've said it out loud i should have just you know let it be because what if we don't even get to it now the hype is too real oh, i've oversold it good hey big j how are you mate mr kaplan how are you thanks for stopping in yeah, he's got his own arcade in his shed, Mr. Kaplan. He charges all the kids five bucks a turn. <laughs> it's unreasonable. Unreasonable, I tell you. I'm definitely jealous of that giant VB sign, though. When I, when I um once I found out that you couldn't just pop a pop a game in the PS4, I wasn't so jealous of that anymore. Nah. But he switched it out for an actual PS4, didn't he? Not yet. I think he's talking uh, about it. Uh, I thought he did. Hey, Big That's J, like, how's it going? Oh, you can't, you can't play a PS4 game? Oh, well, give us a turn on the Nintendo. Yeah, you can play the first five minutes as a demo, but you can't save. <laughs> oh, I'm Rumble. really annoyed with Rumble my memory now. Time. G'day, Rumble. Rumble. Burning. He's turned up as well. I'm so annoyed with my memory now. I was thinking something something about your haircut that I was going to say. It was probably hilarious, but I have to I be believe, forgotten. Sounds likely that it would have been incredibly hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm going to I'm going to need some like um antibacterial alcohol liquid down there. Do I have to bring my own or will Aquamate have that stuff at his house? For what? See how I'm doing this uh, with, with my ear jewelry, and then I do this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of a world is it where Rumble is a mod and I'm not? Nobody ever makes me mod. 
How does Rumble even earn mod status? What has he done? What has gone on with this Aquamate business? Bribes. I'm guessing bribes. Has to be. It's got to be something to do with the t-shirt collab, I reckon. Teeing it up for the future. <laughs> Uh, have I missed any questions in the chat? Is soap? No, soap doesn't work, Mr. Kaplan. It does not work. I like I like your theory, but it just does not do the hard stuff like ear juice. You know Did what? You, say you know Mr. what? Kaplan? Good, what is good is those you know those <laughs> picksters that you use for your teeth. You get a a pickster once you've taken your earrings out. You dip that in the alcohol bizo and you. Go backwards and forwards through your ear holes. That's great for earrings. <clears throat> you know, Aquamate's house is full of my merch. <laughs> there he is, the man of the hour. Mr. Kaplan, are you coming to the Underwater Pet Expo? Mr. Kaplan lives 20 minutes from where it's being held. So no excuse, really. Um, I don't know if you were here for Blake's previous question, Aquamate, but I think it warrants uh, either re-asking or answering. So we were making hot chocolates. Oh, well, that makes sense. you got to have a priority. <laughs> what was my previous question? Must have been good. Oh, the rumble comparison. I think West Coast oh, will win. Yeah, yeah. That's, what sort of a world is it, Josh, where, where bloody rumble gets a mod status and, and I don't? What's up with this? Uh, I don't trust you yet. No. Fair enough. <laughs> no, I, would, I would go rogue with the power. Uh, I think Bodgy is the only one to have ever made me a mod. And you know what it is? It's um, regret. it's that you're always up here talking, and I'm <laughs> always in Streamyard, so I don't see you in the chat to ever like click on your name. No, that's like, all see, right. I can't even find you in here. Are you even actually here? Maybe I'm just I'm maybe I'm just an Android plugged in somewhere to a server. Uh, add moderator. Moderator. Oh, great job, Clint, with the $5 super chat. Oh, Clint, thank you. You appreciate that. That's a new record here. <laughs> <laughs> have a good weekend. Enjoy the freebies and have a beer for me. Wait, Clint, where are you again? Tasmania. That's what I thought. So you can't come over. We'll have to send you... Um, I'm, I'm dobbing myself in every time I say, hey, we should do this, but... <laughs> Uh, maybe I should be able to um, make a few little loot packages that we can send out to people from here. Having all this stuff together, maybe we can send some of the uh, the stuff off to everybody. Um, I've often wondered as well, Clint. Do you um do you have to be really careful when you write your name in capital letters? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, send me things. Hang on. So did you say, are you coming, Kaplan? Or are you just joking around? No. No answer. Just lots of emojis. <laughs> HC, Jesse, yes, it is only two days away. Um, I sent you a message last night while I was watching that uh, Swiski vlog, which was incredible, where he met Carson and Jesse in Hawaii. And you didn't respond, but that's fine. That's okay. thought we were friends, but I know. Time and place for Jesse. Jeez. <laughs> There's a few fish tubers that oh, a few that I thought that's awesome. We can keep we can keep up the great work. Absolutely, Nathan. Nathan's got a whole bunch of uh, different setups, like the Yabbies. Um, you guys, I know you guys had to run earlier, and I was stuck around for a little bit. And he had this uh, duckweed uh, divider in one of his ponds. So one half of the pond was just covered in duckweed, and the other one was free of duckweed. It was pretty cool. Um, I need stickers to go fish fam board. Absolutely, Nathan. Once all this is done, and I owe about 15, 20 people, I've said, yeah, yeah, I'll send you stickers, I, mainly in the States. And I <laughs> I just keep getting distracted. But now I should have a bunch left over or I will have none and I'll have to go buy more and that will delay things <laughs> even further. <laughs> I didn't want to respond while I was taking a crap <laughs> oh i'd never Thanks respond if that was the case <laughs> <laughs> that's the time to respond isn't it yeah that's the that's prime time that's when you get your best thinking done 
Oh, God. Uh, yes, I do. It can turn something else. It can turn into something else very quickly. Uh, in response to your question, Dr. Black, do you have to, do you have to watch yeah, using I mean, I, I wasn't fishing, but I like what I caught. <laughs> Bob, thank you. You don't need to do that, but I appreciate it. I'll uh, try and buy something at this uh, this expo. Um, yeah, we're, look, we're really looking forward to it. Can't wait and um, can't wait to sort of share it with you guys as well because I know in a kind of funny way, it's like we're going to go to this event and don't know everybody. Like, I mean, I know obviously know Blake and Dr. Black and, and stuff, but there's going to be a lot of unfamiliar faces for us there, which is really exciting. But the fact that we can kind of bring you guys along with the stream and know that you guys can see what's going on, um, I don't know, I kind of feel like we're just picking up the fish fam and putting it in the middle of this event, which is really exciting. The fish fam board is going to be in my streams. Hell yeah. You reading something, Blake? Uh, I'm trying to get this flyer so I can show you, but... It's um, PDF. Oh, the one so, you sent me? Yeah. yeah. Um, I can just share it on here, I think, if you want. But doesn't it have all my ugly screen in that? Because I just did a dodgy screenshot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's not cut out. That's right. Um, That's all good, I am mate. Listening. I'm in the process myself of doing stickers, stubby holders, and coffee mugs once realized. We'll do it on a stream. I know I thought about that, actually. <laughs> my son stole one of my stickers and put it onto a stubby holder. So I've got one Aquamate stubby holder, but they're just really expensive. I think they're a really cool idea and stuff. Like, um, but when you're talking like twelve dollars, I think a stubby holder, and then if you're just giving them away, you give ten of those away, you spend a lot of money pretty quickly. Uh, if you sell them, you're asking a lot of people to buy a $20 stubby holder just to make a, um, to cover your costs or profit. Yeah. Mm. Neoprene's not that expensive. I think it's just the process of actually getting it onto the material. Cause I'm assuming that they would get them in already made because sure you can print it on flat neoprene material, but then you've got to have the facility to make the stubby holder as well. So I imagine that they have to print them once already made and, getting someone to hold that cylinder shape onto a printing surface might be a wee bit labour intensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Kaplan, no. <laughs> You're not having my PS4. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll block that off because you live near me. So, <laughs> um, Stubby holder, is that like four beer? Yes, that is like four beer. Um, a koozie. We yeah. call a bottle of beer, like... Hey, what are they? Three fifty mil? A stubby. Oh, yeah, three thirty these days. Three thirty. I don't use but I don't like bottles. I'm a can man. <laughs> stubby holder. Ba -ba. See, I got one too. Bottle. I feel yeah. out of place now. Oh, here we go. Crikey. Where is he? <laughs> Crikey. Oh. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's a really weird one. It's is a that an old one or is it relatively it's a compromising new? position, isn't it? No, it's new. <laughs> it's like two years ago, and there's just a croc on the back. Oh, is he wrestling a croc? Oh, that's a bit weird. Bit like <laughs> Dr. Black. He makes that same expression as well. I do. Every time I wrestle a crocodile, I make that expression, and I get goosebumps. There we go. That's made things a bit better. Screenshot. <laughs> ginger beer. That's right, William Jansen. That was ginger beer, wasn't it? Dr. Black. Yes. What? All right. <laughs> Acromate. Oh. Let's see. Does this work? How do I? I've got I'll, the I'll screenshot. I'll add it up. I'll just quickly. Dr. Black, is that ginger beer that you had before? Yeah, it is. Alcoholic ginger beer. <laughs> Some of Scungy's leftovers, and I don't like to waste it, so I just drank it, and it's like um, uh, less than room temperature, shall I say. That's a, a little bit warm. <laughs> I'm strategically not responding to that, Bob. 
Very nice flavor, though. All right. So here, here's the. <laughs> Is it a blow up to Why are you not responding? You sh if it's not, you should just say no. <laughs> Out of respect for the great man and staunch Essendon supporter, Steve. All right, so here's the uh, here's the flyer, pretty much. There's the QR code. Be sure to subscribe to Blake's Aquatics. And, uh, yeah, so we've got two, two packs to give away. This is the important part here. Entries closed, 7th of March. So... Even technically, if you're not going to the expo, you can enter. But, um, yeah, it's Australian only. Apologies. <laughs> because I'm not spending like $200 to post it overseas. <laughs> um, yeah. Can I just interrupt? Is Ugly Man is Ugly Man an Australian and is Ugly Man going to the expo? Oh, I'd be guessing. Because he's Jeez, going anyway. Sure. Eight dollar super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Candy Overalls is leaving the building as well. See you soon, Candy. Thank you very much for your help today. Well, if Candy's going, we'll have to shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Candy. Appreciate your help today. And this, is like, I knew that I wanted to do a stream at some stage this week to sort of go through all this business that we're doing, and um. And I just didn't know when to do it. And when I saw Dr. Black and then Alien um, World Aquatics were on, I was like, now's the chance. This is the time. Because Blake will be on tomorrow, which is awesome. Sir Prawnalot's going to be on on Friday. Uh, and we're going to be on on Saturday. So there's a lot of Aussie stuff going on on YouTube. And we will enjoy the expo for you, definitely. Thank you very much. Oh, ugly so. Man is an Aussie and lives near Melbourne, so he's definitely going. Well, you know. Make yourself known to us, ugly man. Come and introduce yourself. Get yourself a Oz Fish Tubers gift bag if we've got any left by the time you get there. I mean, we're probably going to be late, so you'll probably be there before us. Oh, definitely go to the expo. Yeah, awesome. Definitely say hello. Well, um, we'll <laughs> I was going to try and do like a big sign for like the bottom of the table, but uh, time is running out. We'll have a few T-shirts put up behind us, hopefully, as long as we can uh, find like a partition that we can use or something to put the, uh, just pin the T-shirts to. Um, so well, hopefully that'll um, sort of stand out a little bit. If you want something to put like on the front of the table, uh, remember I said to you I was going to do like a Blake's Aquatics with the big QR. If you, if whoever wants to is organised, send me an A4 thing with the similar thing and we can just have them all sticky taped like along the edge if you want, like. Blake, Acromate, blah, 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 with giant QR codes. Do you want to um, do you want to send us one in the fish fan, uh, the Aussie fish tuber ha hangouts hmm. so we can try and make something uniform? Um, yeah. Because what I was also thinking is it would be really handy to have like a big YouTube sign. Yeah, true. Sort of. I know in America the, the Aqua Shallow, they had uh, they had the fish tube T-shirts. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there like a story behind that? I should have asked before Candy went to bed. Uh, Bob, you might know, or Chewy or Jesse. Um, is there a certain story behind those fish tube T-shirts? Is it like relevant to a certain group or certain channel or is it just a – because if it's just an open for all thing, I think um, it would be beneficial having something like that down here next year. See you, ugly man. Look forward to meeting you. <laughs> See you Saturday. I've never said that to an ugly man before. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to gaze upon that beautiful face, ugly man. <laughs> I, I love a healthy use of an oxymoron. <laughs> um, See you Saturday, ugly man. Take it easy. Behave yourself appropriately. I'm waiting to see if anyone knows the answer, but um, Jess. Oh, Shrimp Granny. Okay. I've got a couple of YouTube logos, but they're quite small, so I imagine if we blew them up, they'd be very mm. pixelated and shit looking. Well, same thing. When I'm when I'm playing around yeah. tomorrow, I'll, I'll do like an A3 YouTube logo or something. All right. Well, we won't worry about that, that side, but we will do a YouTube logo. Uh, Dr. Black, out of interest and for anyone here, if you, I'm pretty sure if you Google YouTube logo um, and you 
get the logo through the YouTube website, they actually have like a, a download where you can um, download a high quality YouTube logo. Um, it's there for free for anyone to use. Uh, so that's probably the best place to get one. You can blow it right up. Is that the one? It's, that's backwards. Yeah, <laughs> un- unfortunately, I wasted so much iron on transfer paper because I uh, didn't read the instructions before I printed, did I? <laughs> Ah, uh, cool. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, out of interest, I'll suss that one out, Candy, but we'll leave that alone because I just thought there's something like that. So maybe, maybe we actually, we'll see how it all goes and just have some branding. And that's why I like that hashtag OzFishTube is that it's sort of an all encompassing thing. Um, because I suppose it can be relevant to your Facebook posts. You can do that too. Uh, I don't know if you guys use Twitter. I have one, but I don't really use it. Uh, Instagram, it can be relevant to so many platforms rather than just one. Yeah, thing. I, I was playing around on Twitter with different um, aquarium hashtags and stuff, and it seems pretty dead. Like, not many people use it, use it I don't think, for us. Yeah. No, well, yeah, I've gotten really lazy with uh, Instagram. Um, I found that my Instagram grew really, really fast because I followed a lot of people. And then mm. once you stop following lots of people, then it doesn't grow as much. Um, or my photography is not that good. <laughs> but I don't know. I think it's relevant to have it as like a partner in crime to your YouTube channel. But I don't know. I sort of stopped paying attention to it. That's A, a friend of mine works for a company called Buffer that uh, you can put in. I think I spoke about this on Big Easy's stream the other day. Um, you can put in one, you know, one piece of content. So one message, hey, guys, going live in, on Saturday or whatever. Um, and then you can just click, I want it on Twitter, I want it on Instagram, I want it on Facebook. And then it just sends it off to all three. So you don't have to go around to all the apps. And you can schedule it too. So you can have, all right, next Thursday I'm going to release a video. So I want it to be out there on Twitter. I want it to be out there on Facebook. So when the video goes live, then bang, it goes live on the um, on the other thing. So I think that's worth looking into. And um, I didn't realize he was working for a company that, did, that managed your social media accounts, but it's a good idea. Hmm. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. I really appreciate you all stopping by. I thought we'd go for like 20 minutes or half an hour and just cover off some of these things. Um, if you two are okay to stick around for a minute behind closed doors, um, I just wanted to speak to you about something. But um, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much to everyone that um, sent her a super chat. Um, how do you – is there like a little list where I can easily just go that's – Everybody, because I don't want to miss anyone, but I want to say thank you, everybody. I know um, you would know. Sorry? Only we, you would know. Me and Blake haven't. Yeah, I can't see. Blake I know Zen Ginger, Clint's Ginger, Clint Aquatanks, uh, Bob Kayla, Kayla's Aquatics, and Chevy Birkenshaw. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> but I think we're going to see you tomorrow at Blake's stream. Uh, I think... Dr. Black and I will actually be together when Sir Pronolat clicks that live button. And actually, Blake, I reckon all three of us will be together at the event doing a bit of filming, but we'll try and mm-hmm. drop in and uh, support Sir Pronolat. But that'd be really cool. Good way to test out the Wi Fi, too, I suppose. Actually, that's, that's, a, that's a really good idea because I was thinking we might have to pop up a little bit of a, a quick stream just to make sure it's all working as a test. Um, mm-hmm. It might be just as good fun to. Um, to jump onto Sir Pronolots. Morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do oh, it. Let's crash it. We'll message him. I reckon he'll be excited about that too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and yeah, uh, really just jump in on our phones and stuff while we're wandering around. I haven't done enough shameless self promotion, but I'm seven away from 500. If you're seven. Not, if you're not on board, I'm 493 people. I'd love to get or, 500 before tomorrow. Type something in the chat, Blake. If you're already oh, oh, yeah. subscribed to Blake, um, if you unsubscribe, he'll be more than seven away from 500. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, bet, I definitely yeah. recommend doing that. 
<laughs> Yo, seriously, on a serious note, your channel, really well done. I know how hard you work on it. Um, I've seen it firsthand. And you think I think you deserve all the stuff that's coming your way because you've grown really quickly over the last sort of month. Um, and I can see you put yourself out there to get yourself into the situation to be able to find new content and um, even uh, even getting messages where you're bragging about something to me last night that we've got to figure out as well. <laughs> like I know that you're working really hard, so I wish you the best of luck. But I reckon you'll be 500 before the uh, the event starts at least. Easily. Yeah. No rest Probably for the weekend. Uh, before the end of it. And then we'll get Dr. Man. Black over there too because Dr. Black's not far behind you at all. You're a 467, 470 or something. 472, um, I think. And I guess like all nonsense aside, like I don't – it's not a competition, you know. If, if somebody does no. well, everyone does well. So I'm um, just trying Absolutely. to do all we can more. for all of us really. That's the good thing about all the channels in here and all the people in here that support everybody that we all just get that good feeling that you're reaching a milestone and you know that you can see the hard work pays off and, um, yeah, it's exciting. Well, look, I've actually got um, five new ones since the art auction this afternoon, so thank you for anyone who's come along and subscribed to me. That's oh, good because I know that uh, one call oh, – I always say, I say surname wrong – Corvus Oson. Oskin. Oskin, Corvus Oskin. I know that he uh, spoke about your stream in his stream and he's a pretty popular YouTuber. So mm. that means that some people were listening, which is good. Or maybe that's the one that you never know, do you? <laughs> well, you know, man, man I, I had to um, message Joel to uh, get him to do that, but I'm super stoked that he was willing to provide that uh, service. Well, there he's, you go. Uh, he's always no. been a friend to me. He's always been... Uh, very receptive to my streams and fingers crossed one day soon I'll have him on my live stream. That would be uh, awesome. I love Megan. all these collabs that are happening all over the place now. It's pretty pretty good, I reckon. Good that is good. It's, Nathan I, Fishboy I, was one of your new subscribers, Dr. Black, uh, today. Thanks, so. mate. Nice one, brother. I have um I have found it interesting how um I mean not to toot our own trumpets, but ever since we were doing the um you know the live streams where there was two or three of us on it so it just seems to be so many more people hmm. doing live streams where there's more than one fish tuber on a live stream that's true <laughs> and you know usually we at this time of night it just doesn't work but blake you changed that last week and today there's still 25 people here we're keeping a lot of people awake but there's a lot of aussies still in the in the it's dang it, I am going to have to unsubscribe to all of you just so I can subscribe again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Yeah, Chevy we'll Fish see. Just got we'll you guys this... twice by the looks of it. We'll keep this train chugging along and pick up any visitors we can on the way. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Remember, Blake goes live in 24 hours and 11 minutes after the uh, Punchy Paint stream tomorrow. So... We'll see you all there. Uh, and, yeah, I can't wait to share this Saturday with you. But thank you very much for stopping by and thanks for everything. We will see you soon. Bye, guys. Thanks, gang. Ozfish tubers.